All right, third and final band of the evening. Please join me in welcoming Bethel High School Win Ensemble. So we talked earlier about how Symphonic Band was fresh off a festival performance at PLU. Well, these guys, we, we had a long day a couple weekends ago. We traveled all the way up to Bellingham, Washington, uh, and visited Western Washington University's campus for their, their first band festival that they had. And we had, we had a great experience up there just listening to a ton of outstanding bands. Some of the bands we listened to were among the top in the state. So it was, it was really cool to just like soak all that in. But we also had an outstanding performance as well. So um, I was really proud of how we played. And some of you were able to tune in. We had there's a live stream that was going on. So we're, we're excited to share um, that that set of music tonight. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's something else I was going to say, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, let's get to our program. I'm actually going to grab the score really quickly. This first piece of music we're going to perform for you, it's entitled To Create a Voice. And I want you all to just sort of zoom back to beginning band for a second. Uh, parents, you can all relate to this. I mean, <laughs> the, the, first, the first notes that all these kids have played so this, is, this piece sort of pays homage to kind of that journey of, of beginning band and kind of just transforming and, and, and just acquiring the love of music. So I'm going to read the, these are the notes straight from Carol Burton Chambers, who's the composer of this piece. Um, this was in memory of uh, a passing of a local band director named Chris Anderson, a local musician and educator. So she, she wrote this piece uh, to, to, in remembrance of Chris. So, in her quote, when writing this piece, I tried to convey certain moods and emotions throughout. Soulful at the beginning with calm woodwind chords and solo trombone. Increase energy throughout various sections of the piece. Exploration of different grooves and colors. An uplifting emotional ending that leaves the listener with a sense of how positive and loving Chris was. This piece was largely inspired by a specific quote from Chris. And I quote, most people would consider the sounds students first make on their instruments to be cringeworthy. <laughs> but to me, that's music to my ears. Because that's the first time students put a voice to their instrument. Over time, those voices become stronger. They become clear, more confident, and get to a point where they can use those voices to communicate to each other and to their audiences. To relate to the, quote, first notes of the instrument, Composer used motifs based on the first notes that most beginners ever play. Do, re, mi. First three notes, which are introduced at the beginning of this piece with a low brass. Then the brass introduced the crowd that is named Chris's theme, where the woodwinds keep reminding us this. Do, re, mi. Later in the piece, these notes are used again but in reverse, and becomes reference to the first song most beginners learn. What piece is that, you guys? Talk about the band. Mi, re, do. Hot cross buns. So you're gonna hear hot cross buns in this piece. This section is also meant to portray Chris's quirky and joking side. But towards the end, there's an uplifting moment. Do, re, mi is heard again, but this time in harmony with mi, fa, so. This represents the ultimate satisfaction we all as musicians as we finally progress to play in harmony with each other. We hope you enjoy the performance of To Create a Voice.
So this next piece we're going to perform for you, it's entitled In the Force of the King. It's full of playful melodies uh, based off of uh, French folk songs. Um, this is a three movement piece. Um, just reminding you guys that we, we, we had a note in the program that for any time we have a multiple movement piece that we just invite you to hold your applause until the very end. Um, so this is going to feature all sorts of, I mean, pretty much every section. There's, there's a lot, this, we had a lot of fun working on this. So we hope you enjoy In the Forest of the King.
and all of our bands perform in the in the state or the, the regional solo ensemble competition. And I just wanted to recognize some individuals who are recognized as we have some state alternates and we also have some, some regional winners who are gonna actually go compete in state. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna list some names off, some of whom are up here, some of whom are probably in that back corner as well. We had a second alternate in the in the large brass category. So we have our brass quartet, or sorry, our brass quintet. If I say your name, go and stand up. We have Jacob Dettinger. Oh, yeah. Lucy Cooper, somewhere up there. Stephanie <laughs> Dixon on horn. Isaiah Hinnaman on podium. And Olivia Latham on tuba. Second alternate. We also have a second alternate group. This was in the small percussion ensemble category. We have a percussion trio, and they're all on stage. You'll see them. Elliot Neely on the left. Tyson Huff. And Jared Landry. We also had a first alternate in the small brass category. This is a brass duet, a trumpet and French horn. Uh, this is Kendall Martin and Isaac Correa. I believe they're coming up there. <laughs> we have a couple individuals going to state. We had two categories. This first one is in the tenor sax solo category. Lance McHale, stand up. <laughs> we also have a winner in the French horn solo category. This is Minuet Liao. heavy competition, they were adjudicated, they were scored, the, 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 adjudicators, the adjudicators also got to work with our students for a mini clinic on, on stage, so that was, that's a really cool experience. My hope at, at this time next year that we're gonna be announcing a lot more participants and just really gung-ho about solo and ensemble in the contest and everything that I see the best growth as musicians when, when, when they're able to work in small groups and collaborate with each other. I mean, I was pretty hands off for most of that. I mean, every once in a while they'd come grab me in a practice room and play for me a little bit and I would share my insight. But for the most part, they were working with their accompanist if you're a solo or they were working in, their, in the practice room coming after school or during class. So I'm just really thrilled for all those who participated and just really got a great experience. On top of all that, I mean, we have a number of students who participated who, who did really well, just really good performances. 
um, excellent ratings, superior ratings all around. So that's we, we just want to keep that train rolling So because it's it's really inspiring each and every one of us. Um, so state solo ensemble for those two individuals. Um, state is held at the, the last weekend of April and it's, it's held at, in Ellensburg at Central Washington University's campus and it's it's kind of like entering a world where everyone there had, are, are regional winners and, and it's, it's really uplifting and just to watch and also to compete in that fashion. So, um, so we just got all sorts of band stuff coming up too. We have our large group festival coming up this weekend. Um, concert band performs at 1055. Wind Ensemble, who's on stage right now, will perform at 1245, I believe so. And then, and then Symphonic Band will be performing at 225. I think I got all those times right. Um, there's 20 bands that are performing throughout the entire day, so you should come stay and watch. We, we, we invite you to come. It's free admission. It's, it's nearby. It's Family Lake. So we're really looking forward to this weekend. Of course, we have daffodil parades coming up. We're doing, we're doing, um, we're doing the Pialup, the Sumner, and the Ording Rats this year. We're, we're already looking at parade music, and you know the, the sun was shining today. We didn't have any rain today. Thank goodness. So we're excited to hit that ground running as soon as this week concludes. So, um, Let myself, Miss Courtney, know if you have any questions or if you, if there's any way you guys want to help out. We, we love to meet new faces in any way, shape, or form because um, there's still many of you who I haven't met yet and I'm, I'm excited to meet you all. So I gave our brass players a bit of a chop break. Um, we're going to conclude. It's a very, up, it's a very, I mean, the name of the piece kind of speaks for itself. This is a piece called Impact. It's an antithesis of dark and light. It's, it's really, it's really energetic. And thanks for being here tonight um, and supporting music education, all these awesome students. Can we get one more round of applause for all three bands? I know there's, there's the booster table that's out in the foyer out there, so you should go visit them as well. They've got refreshments out there. So, last piece.
Thanks for coming. It's okay, I got a new one on the way.